name's Donovan and today we are doing another Sony Vegas tutorial. Yes, today we are doing this tri trigger thingy tutorial. And you guys know trigger, right? Trigger is like a lot of YouTubers do this, like when they having something funny and they just trigger, 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 trigger. And if you guys want to learn how to trigger like that. Not you taking a photo like this photo, for example, and it's already triggered for you. Check this out. You guys can see nothing is happening, right? So now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on this crop crop event. Let's let's see, not even effect. You want to click on the icon that is called event pan slash crop. Click on that, then this loads up. Now, what you want to do is do not click on mask. Two, two of these have to be selected. So, now what you want to do is you want to use the key keyframe dingy and you just want to make it like smaller or bigger, what you want. But for me, I would like it to be like this. Then another second to be like this. Then another second like this. Yeah, so you guys get the idea, right? So you you guys see my last video, my my last singing video in the, the song that's called Closer. You guys know that song from Mr. from the group that is called Chain Smoker. And you, you guys see the part like when when so we ain't never getting older and shit. Okay, now you get the idea, right? So now that's what you want to do. Like just continuing going to right or left and using the keyframe. Then now what you want to do is you see you don't want to do it more. It's like long time for you to do it, right? So if if you if if the keyframe goes goes and this is what it looks like. Right, so now, now let's check what we got. See, you guys see, it's going really slow, right? So now, what you want to do is you want to click on this little icon again, and now this is the part. Let me drag it there, and this is the part, the really part, really special part you need to know about. If you drag it like this, you will see one second, two second, three seconds. See, you guys see it. So now, what you want to do is, you want to make it bigger first. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit hard. So now, what you want to do is drag it next to each other like this. There we go. So it's it's so not simple, right? It's 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 uh, a bit hard for for me because it's not closer to each other yet. So now, what you want to do is you have to drag it all. So, but this is this is easy one. Oh yeah. This is a really easy one to do it. And now if you drag it smaller, you will see there's one second, two second line. You guys seen right now. So now what you want to do is you want to drag this to the one or two second line. And this will take you ages to finish. Alright guys, so now let me drag all of it now. It's about two, maybe two minutes to finish this. Oh my god, this is just insanely not simple. So now now you guys got that five and a couple of these more you could you could delete them by just clicking on them or click on them at the same time. Like this, then another one like that, then another one right here, then click on delete. Then now you delete, you got like a couple of it already, but you want it to do more, but you don't have any time to do, right? So now what you want to do is Press Control and click all of the selected small thingy and select all of them. And now you, what you want to do is click on Control Control C, then drag the thingy again that the the thingy that timeline thingy again. And now what you want to do is you will see if you're going really fast, you just click on Control V. Control V, guys, remember Control V. You have to click on Control V so it's working. You see, it's now working really fast and smoothly. So now let's check what we've got now.
Okay, so the present default. No, close that. So now let's check what did we got right now. I know it's much better than last time. See? <laughs> like that. So now you see why I stopped because you don't have enough to do it. So if you see, this is a part right here. Like, like this is not a simple one to do. So control V and let me make it small so it's easy for me to do it. Oh my god, this is going to take like two hours. Like the last song, the one that I told you a bit ago, I used that like 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 30 minutes to finish that part I'm dancing do, 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 like that it take me like 30 minutes to finish that part and I'm 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 sick of it so now you guys get the idea right you guys get the idea now let me let me close this one and and now let, let's check what have we got okay so no that not that part let me start it and you see, it's shaking really hard if you do that. So now, you get the idea. First, drag your photo that you need. Then number two, you have to drag it how far you want. All right. So I'm doing it just for 30 seconds, 30 seconds because I this is just a tutorial. And next, what you want to do is you want to click on this little icon right here. This called the event pen slash crop. Then next, you want to do is you want to just don't don't put the key frame in one place. Then got the, all the idea, guys. If you guys like this video, please leave a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. If you did, yeah, like this video more because the trigger effect is awesome for me. Sometimes I put songs like like more songs that is pop. You could use it. So thanks for watching, guys. And you want if you want to see more Sony Vegas tutorial, comment tell me down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Never you never need just